Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you five tips for how you can sculpt better faces in ZBrush. Let's dive right in. Tip number one, move the light. One of the first things I tell my students when I'm teaching is, sculpting is the manipulation of light. To make a good sculpture, you must control how the light hits it. Light can be deceptive. For instance, let's look at this forehead region. It looks fairly smooth. However, if you move the light up, now all of a sudden you can see more of the superciliary arch in a totally different way. We have to make sure that the model includes this type of anatomical detail at extreme angles of light. And you have to take this into consideration for any head that you make. Tip number two, look at the model from all different angles. Make sure you're tumbling around and analyzing from above, below, three quarters, etc. And comparing to reference. One of the most important parts of a portrait is the profile view. This angle helps establish a lot of the relationships of the face and sets you up for success. If you can keep the profile on track while still nailing what you need on the other angles, you're going in the right direction. It's also a good idea to view your model in your end rendering program through that specific camera. The camera in ZBrush has been upgraded to be more accurate, but there are still discrepancies between it and other software. I often jump into programs like Maya to test, render, and sculpt and make adjustments, even lining up to image planes. Another good option I use is setting up a marmoset scene that auto-updates with each change. Having that second source of truth is a good tool to have. Tip number three, study anatomy and reference life where possible. It probably goes without saying, but foundational anatomy is important to making successful representational organic sculptures. I would recommend always looking directly at reference of the source subject and ideally not in another artist's depiction. You want to be interpreting with your own eyes. Beyond that, the best thing you can do for yourself, if you haven't already, is to study the human skull. Learn the different bones that comprise it, where the muscles are located, where fat deposit sits, and you'll have an incredibly easier path to success. We will cover topics like this on the channel, so please subscribe and stay tuned. Tip number four, be open to any change no matter how drastic. If you're watching this and thinking, I'll never be able to sculpt like that. Trust me, you can, and this note is for you. Art is just about starting with a blank canvas, making a mark, responding and adjusting to that mark over and over again. Sometimes you get it right, often you don't. By necessity, we'll make mistakes and to succeed, you will need to fix those mistakes. That is the process and not an issue with your ability. Yes, as you practice, you will likely learn and make less or different mistakes, but that is the journey of being an artist. You must persevere and you cannot be unwilling to change your work no matter how far along you've gotten into the process. Don't be afraid you'll mess something up. If you change it, just use a layer and make the changes and continue forward. You're probably closer to success than you think. Tip number five, primary forms are the most important. Primary forms must drive your sculpture. Don't get caught up in the details. It may seem hard to believe, but this model that I have up on screen is about 80 to 90% finished. This is how I started my Robin Williams bust. I lined up all these shapes to my reference and once you combine and smooth them, the hardest part of the battle is behind you. That shows the power of primary forms. Get those right and you will be successful. You should be able to view your model from very far away and still be able to tell who or what it is very clearly. The secondary and tertiary details like pores are only just the icing on the cake. That's it for today everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope that you found that helpful. Please leave a comment. Let me know what else you might like me to cover. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.